Hi guys, uh, want to lose weight or detox your body naturally, reduce inflammation and bloating? Then this diet plan is for you. The name of this plan is Khichdi Diet and it will help you lose up to 3 to 4 kilos in 3 days. Those who don't know what Khichdi is, it's basically a one pot meal made with rice, lentils, beans, spices, other ancient grains etc. It is nutritious and has protein, carbs, fats, minerals and pro and prebiotics. Khichdi is low in fat, high in fiber and contains complex carbohydrates. All these components help you feel full for longer and reduce the urge to snack. Eating khichdi aids in the detoxification process, maintains digestive balance and helps in weight loss. When we get sick, what is the first thing we think of eating? That's right, it's khichdi because it is easy on the stomach and digestion. I will be sharing the recipe of khichdi at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now that we know what khichdi is, let's start with the meal plan. Start your day with a probiotic supplement. This has to be taken 30 minutes before breakfast. Probiotics are most effective if you take them before breakfast as the stomach won't be as acidic and this allows the probiotic capsule or tablet to be able to make its way into the intestine more easily. By taking probiotics, we are increasing the number of good bacteria in our gut which can detoxify the system and help absorb nutrients more efficiently. For breakfast, have a bowl of khichdi along with a glass of buttermilk. Making buttermilk is easy. Just take a glass and add 3 tablespoons of yogurt. Next add some pink salt to taste, some cumin powder, crushed black pepper and chopped cilantro leaves. Next fill the glass with water and blend. In the end, sprinkle some freshly chopped cilantro, cumin powder and black pepper and it's ready. Drinking buttermilk every morning will help relieve constipation. It protects our stomach from diseases and also gets rid of bloating. It has great probiotic properties and helps increase the production of good bacteria in the digestive tract. One glass of buttermilk will leave you satiated for a long time and will help reduce calorie intake. Mid-morning, have 2-3 to three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds with a cup of ginger tea. Pumpkin seeds are rich in fiber, protein and unsaturated fatty acids. Choose raw unsalted seeds to maximize extra fat and sodium intake. These seeds are a rich source of digestive protein that stabilizes blood sugar. These seeds also reduce inflammation and are a natural metabolism booster and there is something special about pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds contain a substance called cucurbitin that paralyzes worms and parasites in the body to remove them. This will further help to clean our digestive tract and detox our body. Pumpkin seeds in this diet are a must. Ginger tea is a combination of ginger root and boiling water and is good for digestion and reducing inflammation. It is non-alcoholic, non-caffeinated and virtually calorie-free drink and helps manage weight and blood sugar levels. To make the tea, take a cup and add 1 teaspoon of grated ginger. Next, fill the cup with boiling water and cover with the lid. Let it steep for 5 to 7 minutes. Strain and it's ready. My cup has a built-in strainer like this and a lid to cover the cup. If you wish to buy a similar one, then the links can be found in the description box. For lunch, have a portion of khichdi with a bowl of raita. Raita is a traditional yogurt-based condiment mixed with herbs, spices and veggies. It is a nutrient-dense food with proteins, vitamins, minerals and probiotics which help us with weight loss and a healthy gut. Making it is easy. Add 3 to 4 tablespoons of yogurt to a bowl. Now add some pink salt, cumin powder and crushed black pepper and mix well. Black pepper contains a chemical called piperine which seems to kill bacteria. Piperine can also kill fungi and parasites. Now add chopped onions, cucumber and tomato. Onions are a rich source of fiber and prebiotics which are necessary for optimal gut health. They serve as a prebiotic or food source for the bacteria which aids digestion. Tomato has probiotic properties and it boosts the activity of healthful bacteria in the gut. It also reduces the risk of high cholesterol, obesity and cancer. Cucumber contains both soluble and insoluble fiber which regulate bowel movements and prevent constipation. It also contains enzymes that aid in the digestion of food and help to reduce inflammation in the gut. In the end, sprinkle some freshly chopped cilantro. Herbs are important, so if not coriander leaves, then do add mint or parsley leaves. Add some water to get a smooth consistency and sprinkle some more cilantro and cumin powder in the end and raita is ready. In the evening, have either an apple, tomato or cucumber. 
Apple is considered a prebiotic as it is rich in pectin fiber. Pectin promotes healthy gut bacteria and helps decrease harmful bacteria. For dinner, again have a portion of khichdi with a bowl of raita. Raita here is optional. If you don't eat yogurt at night or want to skip for some reason, you can. And before sleeping, that is at bedtime, have a cup of ginger tea. Now that we know how khichdi diet plan works, let's know how to make the khichdi. To make it, either use a pressure cooker or an electric one, to which add 2 teaspoons of ghee. I recommend using ghee as ghee supports our gut and colon health. However, if you're not able to find ghee for some reason, then you're free to use coconut or olive oil. Ghee contains a lot of vitamins and omega fatty acids. When the ghee becomes hot, add a pinch each of asafoetida and turmeric powder and some crushed black pepper. Next, add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and roast them until they start releasing aroma. Now add fresh minced garlic and cook until they turn light brown. Now instead of white rice, I'm using brown rice. Add a half cup of washed brown rice and one and a half cups of green moong dal. I soaked moong dal for an hour prior to making. Stir fry them for a minute and add half cup of oats. Mix all well and add Himalayan pink salt as per taste. Now add two and a half cups of water and put on the lid. Let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Once cooked, shift a portion to a bowl, sprinkle some freshly chopped cilantro and our khichdi is ready. This is how our khichdi diet is. It may look like a lot of work because I had to explain the recipe and steps, but actually it's very simple to make and follow. Khichdi once made can be eaten for all the three meals. Second day prepare fresh and eat three times and repeat the same for the third day. Just so that you don't get bored, I have restricted this diet to no longer than three days. Probiotic supplements added in this diet will give you more live bacterial cultures than eating dahi or other fermented foods and will fasten the detoxification process. Eat any amount of khichdi and raita until full at a given time at one go. Do not eat in breaks or untimely. Follow this diet for a minimum of two consecutive days to a maximum of three. Going forward, you can follow this diet every two days a week if you like. This diet can detox the body and has everything that a body needs, proteins, carbs, fats, minerals, pro and prebiotics. You will feel your best, lose weight and feel light. This plan will flush out toxins from the body as it is rich in pro and prebiotics, will help clear the gut from the gunk stored in the intestines. This will help with inflammation, bloating and keep you healthy away from the diseases and also help with weight loss. Hope you like this khichdi diet plan. Do hit like and subscribe if you still haven't and I will see you soon with a new video. Till then, remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Bye-bye.